A word of advice for everyone out there is to never underestimate anyone. On top of that, never bully anyone because it could very much come back to bite you in the back. So do not for once even think of having the satisfaction that you are going to get away with bullying someone. Why? Well, you're about to find that out in today's story. Welcome to Movie Recall. In today's video, we'll be going through the 2005 comedy superhero film Sky High. It's time to recall, let's get started. Turn on subtitles and spoilers ahead. The movie starts with Will, the son of two superhero parents. His parents are the Commander and Jetstream, the strongest superheroes in the world. Will is expected to join them one day in saving the world. Today is Will's first day at Sky High. Sky High is a high school for superheroes. Will's father receives a call from the mayor. He must leave with Will's mom to go save the world. However, before he leaves, he lets Will know that most of the students at high school will more likely have one superhero parent, not two like Will does, so he advises him not to show off too much after his parents leave. In the next scene, Will turns on the news on TV and together with his childhood friend Layla, watch his parents destroy the giant robot rampaging through town. After the battle, the commander takes the robot's head as a souvenir. The next scene shows Will and Layla getting on the school bus. Will tries to keep a low profile on the bus, but it does not work out, and he gets special treatment on the bus. After the last student is aboard, they realize it is not a normal bus. The bus drives off a ramp and plummets, causing all the students on the bus to scream in fear. But suddenly, the bus transforms into a plane and flies away. They in no time arrive at the high school, which is floating in the sky. The school's location is secret to prevent villains from discovering it. The fresh students see many other old students on campus using different superpowers. Some of them can be seen flying, some can be seen using laser vision, and some have the power to freeze people. The freshmen are welcomed at the campus by a group of cheerleaders with a cheer routine. However, at the end of the routine, the group of new students realizes it's just one cheerleader who possesses the power to duplicate herself. The cheerleader seems nice, however, not all of the other students seem welcoming. Even Sky High has bullies like every school in the world. Two bullies come up to the group of freshmen and demand a $15 fee from each student. Luckily for the freshmen, the student body president gets them to leave. Will cannot seem to take his eyes off of Gwen. He is fascinated by Gwen at first sight, much to Layla's dismay. Before the freshmen can begin classes, they have to go through a power test. The result of the test will determine whether they will be heroes or sidekicks. Each student goes up on stage and performs their superpower for the teacher who, after evaluating everything, decides which group they belong to. Will has no choice but to confess to the teacher that he has no idea what his superpower is. The teacher does not believe him and drops a car on Will, who drops flat just in time to not get killed. Seeing this, the teacher believes him and assigns Will to be a sidekick. In the nurse's office, she tells Will of the sobering possibility that he may never develop superpowers, just like Sky High's bus driver. After school, Will decides to tell his father the truth about not having any superpowers. However, before he can tell him, his dad takes him to the secret sanctum. The secret sanctum is decked out in scientific equipment and souvenirs from his parents' greatest battles. Seeing these, Will no longer has the courage to tell his father that he does not know what superpower he has, or worse, no superpowers. Meanwhile, the robot head from the morning's battle sits on a chair in the secret sanctum. Through it, two mysterious individuals watch Will and his dad from a monitor. The next day in the class, the students are being taught about sidekicks, and one student wants to know when they are going to get to pick their superhero names. Much to their disappointment, it turns out that sidekicks do not get to pick their own names, or costumes for that matter. These are all decided by the hero they get paired with after graduation. It turns out that their teacher was once the commander's sidekick, but he was disappointed to find out that Will's parents have never even mentioned him to Will. Students begin to adjust to life at Sky High as they learn to use a number of different gadgets, such as nets and utility belts, and how to change them into costumes and poses. Will makes friends with other sidekicks from his class. One night, they are at his house studying when his dad comes home early. He meets Will's friends and learns about their powers. His dad is very underwhelmed and tells Will that there's nothing wrong with being a sidekick. He tries to remember his own sidekick's name, but finds himself unable to. Will finally gathers the courage to tell his dad that he, too, is a sidekick. It really disappoints his father. The commander gets enraged and slams his fist against the kitchen counter, causing all the items on it to jump. His dad then puts the blame on the teacher who gave the test, thinking that he only made Will a sidekick out of pettiness. He picks up the phone to call the school and complain, but he is too angry to control his power and ends up breaking the phone into pieces. Will finally gets through his enraged dad. He tells him that it's not his teacher's fault. The truth is that he just doesn't have powers. 
Will's dad desperately assures him that there will definitely come a day when he will have powers, but Will says that he doesn't care. He's proud to be a sidekick. His parents try to grapple with their disappointment. Eventually, they decide that being a family is as important as being a superhero family. The next day, the school bullies use their powers to pick on the bus driver. Despite not having any power, Will stands up to the bullies, but it does not turn out to be a good idea. However, this is the moment that we realize that Will does not take very kindly to bullying. Despite knowing he is going to have to face the consequences, he stands up to them. At lunch, the bullies take the revenge. They trip Will, causing him to drop his food onto Warren. Warren is a superhero and a villain, and Will's dad was the one who put Warren's dad in prison. He gets enraged at Will for throwing his food at him and continuously throws fireballs at Will, who dodges and tries to escape by crawling underneath the tables. When Will's friends stand up to defend him but end up causing Warren to turn his rage on them. This really upsets Will and he lifts the table Warren is standing on into the air. This is the moment he reveals his superpower. Will tosses the table into the ceiling as Warren charges towards Will. Will uses a fire extinguisher to put out his flames. The principal arrives and puts them both in detention. Will tries his best to make peace with Warren, but this is not just about the two of them. It's their dads who are enemies, not them. However, Warren does not want to make any peace with Will. When Will gets home, his father is overjoyed to learn that Will has superpowers and he gifts him an Xbox. Through the robot's eyes, the mysterious duo plots their revenge. The next day, Will transferred to classes for superheroes. In his first class, Will gets to work with Gwen on building a freeze ray. However, he proves hopeless with technology, so Gwen uses her powers to build it for him. At lunch, Will is sitting with Gwen and her friends who do not allow Will's other friends to join because they are sidekicks. Will feels bad and he asks Layla to the Paper Lantern, her favorite restaurant, to make it up to her. This is when he hears one of his friends calling for help. Turning the corner, Will finds bullies stuffing his friends into lockers, so he stands up to the bullies yet again and makes the bullies let his friends go. Will's friends make a bet with the bullies. If Will wins a game of saving the citizens against them, they will leave the sidekicks alone for the rest of the year. In the game, mannequins are put into dangerous situations and the team of bullies is villains. Will and his partner are the heroes. They have to save the mannequins before they get destroyed. Will is paired up with Warren as soon as the game begins. Will just keeps getting knocked out by the bullies. Eventually, he gets tired of it and punches the floor, sending the villains flying. He then quickly ties up one of the villains while Warren throws fireballs at the remaining villains. He yells at Will to save the mannequins, which is the only way to win the game. However, then the other villain begin to run around Warren and Warren begins to exacerbate as the villain's power sucks away his oxygen. Seeing Warren in trouble, Will decides to save him and after saving him, Will tosses Warren at the mannequin and saves it from being destroyed. At this, Will is cheered on by the students watching the game. This is the length he goes to in order to save his friends from the bullies. He takes up a dangerous game and teaches the bullies a lesson. When Will returns home, he finds Gwen in his kitchen. Gwen then stays for dinner and the entire family is delighted. They have a great time together. Gwen invites Will's parents to the homecoming dance as the guest of honor. Meanwhile, Layla is sitting alone at the paper lantern waiting for Will. She has been there for a while. One of the waiters comes up to her. It turns out to be Warren. Layla and Warren talk and get to know each other. Will asks Gwen to homecoming and she says yes. The next day, Will meets Layla at the bus stop. Rather than being angry at him for standing her up, Layla decides to ask Will to the dance. However, before she gets the chance, Will excitedly tells her that he is going to the dance with Gwen. Putting on a smile, Layla pretends to be happy for him. Afterwards, she lies to Will saying that she is going to homecoming with Warren. Will gets upset by this news because he has a little history with Warren and he considers Warren his enemy. Being angry with Will, Layla sits with Warren at lunch and tells him that they are going to homecoming together. Before Warren can say much, all of Layla's friends sit around him. Warren happily agrees to go with her as soon as he realizes how much going to prom with Layla is going to bother Will. After school that day, Will holds a party at his house while his parents are away. During the party, Will takes Gwen into the secret sanctum while they are kissing, one of the souvenirs gets stolen in the background. Layla discovers the party by accident and walks into the house where Gwen chases her away. When Will finds out what happens, he gets extremely angry and dumps Gwen and kicks everybody out of his house. After a while, he calls Layla to apologize to her, but she doesn't answer the phone. He leaves a message for her, asking her to meet him at the paper lantern, but she never shows up. On the night of homecoming, Will sits in the secret sanctum while his parents go to the dance. After rifling through his parents' old yearbook, Will notices the resemblance of one of these two students and realizes that the ray gun from his dad's collection is missing. He calls for help from the bus driver who takes him to the school. Meanwhile, Gwen announces herself as the most powerful super being at the school. She then reveals that she is actually Royal Pain, 
the archenemy of the commander. She uses the ray gun she stole from the Secret Sanctum to turn all of the superheroes into babies, but Warren and the sidekicks manage to escape into the vents. Will finally arrives at the school and apologizes to his friends for being a jerk. Will also makes up with Layla and they kiss. In the hallway, Layla and her friends battle against their villainous classmates while Will goes after Gwen. Holding a baby commander in arms, Gwen explains that she is Sue Tenney and was ostracized in sidekick classes for her powers that were ahead of their time. She developed the pacifier to transform adults into infants with the goal of raising them a second time as villains. But due to the commander and Jetstream's interference, she was subject to the ray herself and forced to relive her childhood as Gwen. Now first of all, she wants to destroy Sky High for not recognizing her genius. She has waited many years to finally make herself able to get this revenge. When Will shows up, she smashes him through several walls. Layla and her friends defeat their villainous classmates, but they find out that Gwen has sabotaged the school's anti-gravity system. That means the school will fall off the sky and will be destroyed into pieces. So if they do not escape, they are all going to die. The sidekicks work together to get to the device. During his fight with Gwen, Will gets thrown out of a window and falls off the floating campus. About a moment later, Will appears outside the window flying. Using both his superpowers, he is finally able to defeat Gwen. Outside, the bus driver defeats Gwen's sidekicks who are trying to steal the babies away. Gwen then turns on her device remotely and the school begins to fall. Will immediately flies beneath the school and uses his superpower to lift up the school, but it is too much for even him. Just as it looks like the school is about to crash into the earth, his friends manage to deactivate the device, allowing the school to regain its anti-gravity capability. Will and his friends depacify the teachers and students who finally recognize the sidekicks and their good deeds. Gwen and her gang are sent to detention and later to prison for their crimes. This is how a boy who was believed to have no superpowers ends up saving their whole world. Where did it all start? It started when Will stands up to the bullies. This is when he discovers his superpower. So if he had not stood up to the bullies, he might never have found his superpower, right? Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and click the bell icon to get new movie recaps.